<clears throat> yeah, so I've seen, um, there's a video up on YouTube, on your channel there, that uh, that your mom was interviewed at one point by, uh, by Sabuti, and she has her, uh, her testimony, her account for um, mm -hmm. you from a very young age, uh, being in the kitchen, maybe playing on the pots and pans, just needing to, uh, needing to drum or picking up another instrument, ukulele or guitar, and just being uh, naturally drawn to it and have a natural ability um, on that instrument. And uh, yeah, not many, not many people have their mom's account, you know, a mother, a mother's account on the, the young child or when, mm -hmm. when the musician was uh, very, at a very young age. Yeah, at two years old, at two years old. Mm. So, um, yeah, do you have anything to add? Well, uh, I, I think uh, that's a great, you know, I guess you might say uh, background to have, uh, or like a, a, a mother who's a, who's a witness to your evolution, right? And so uh, uh, she said it like it was. I, I mean, I heard things for the first time when I was shown the video. And I said, wow, that's, it surprised me that she said what she had said. Uh, uh, and we're talking about drum culture now. My father was a drummer, so I've admitted in bio and other places that I was born with a drum fever. I mean, I love the drums, man. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm a drum. What can I tell you? Yeah, I'm a drum. And I play a six-string drum because I never stop playing drums. Just because I'm using a pick and a guitar and six strings doesn't mean I'm not I'm not playing the drums. The drums is state of mind. See, so uh, yeah, no, I play the drums, the mighty drums. I I, I, I I allow that beat to come through. See, on on the guitar as well as when I uh, move to play hand drums, which I don't have the strength to do anymore. But yeah, I love the drums. Uh, and I feel that there's an occult purpose to the drums. The drums, are, you know, go back to Africa, uh, and I think that's where they were made into uh, like a, a very important level of communication, you know, between the tribes and and uh, the realities that they had to deal with is more or less people who are evolving from a primitive state to a more sophisticated state. And the drum languages remain pretty much the same, right? And uh, as powerful. And the idea, of course, is to understand the drum is really a way of helping you feel your heart, heartbeat, helping you get in touch with the earth, but as, as a form of healing uh, through rhythm. And this is important, healing through rhythm. See, through, through some kind of, let's say, um, time, let's say, um, pulse, right? That is uh, a groove, we call it a groove. Uh, but we're, we're talking about the, the movements of, of waves of energy that are more or less defined by the, the pulses and the beats uh, with space in between them and you, f you feel this motion, right? You feel the movement of it. It's like the waves, like the ocean. You're, you're in the ocean, a, a pulse in, in that way, a drum defining it mostly. And uh, it's something that uh, it's got to come from your innermost being, right? And I, I'm really happy I, I've had the opportunity to meet some great drummers. You know, I had to talk to... Uh, Buddy Rich, you know, very strong person, you know, and uh, he was very humble uh, to me when we were doing the Montreal Jazz Festival back back in the day when I was playing with Pharaoh, right? and he came up, and uh, you know, there's a gathering of musicians on uh, on the bandstand, and uh, you know, before before the concerts, see, and you know, he's friendly cat, very straight, boom, you know, and he plays that way, focus, very focused cat. Right, so it, there's him, of course, Elvin Jones, uh, Rashid, lastly, and some, uh, you know, like uh, Terry Clark from up, uh, I, I don't know if he's a Canadian or not, but yeah, I think he might be from Vancouver. Uh, a strong drummer, ex excellent drummer, exceptional drummer. Right. And uh, so, uh, yeah, no, the drums have been key to me uh, throughout my uh, whole evolution as a human. And uh, so the issue is, can anybody just use the drums to improve their, their karma and their condition? I'd say, well, you have to, you have to see if, if the magic is there for you, because that's what it's for. It's not to, you know, to live your, your suffering. It, it's movement. It's like an engine. It's a motor. So you travel uh, in space through the drums in time. So, so you use the time to create a space 
that enables you to go beyond your suffering, ideally and maybe ultimately. So who can do that? So who can move beyond their suffering through the drums? It's like, really? <laughs> you know, you can do that? That's all it's about. It's moving beyond yourself, your thought, your mind, your body, your time, your space, your energy, your matter, and your mind. So, in other words, what's left is heaven. Right? The, the bliss of space. But you have to use it properly to do that, to get to that place. Where you, you're beyond your, your mechanical, uh, say, self-given, right? self-created, mental and emotional hardships, uh, uh, programs, and tendencies. Right? All your human stuff. And what you want to do is use the drums to recover a sense of the angelic or the celestial, which is our uh, higher self, right? our innermost potential. Mm -hmm.